Welcome to Daryl's Beekeeping Videos. I'm a master beekeeper and today's lesson is on how to use formic acid to treat your honeybees for varroa mites. Formic acid is an excellent choice in my opinion to treat uh, for varroa mites because it is the only chemical treatment that is considered an organic treatment. It is the only chemical treatment that is con uh, that you can use with honey supers on. It is the only treatment that can uh, kill varroa mites inside cap brood. So it is an excellent choice. Formic acid is naturally found in nature in plants and is naturally found inside honey. The disadvantages to using formic acid is that it has a very small temperature range. According to the product label, the temperature range is from 50 degrees during the daylight time to 85 degrees. And the product label will also tell you that even though the temperature is from 50 to 85 degrees during the day, you can go up to 92 degrees because the, the label says temperatures in excess of 92 degrees will cause excessive brood mortality or bee mortality. So by that, by following the product label, even though it says 50 to 85, you could in theory go up to 92 degrees and still not uh, be in violation of the product labels as I understand it. I'm not a lawyer, but that's how I interpret it because it is on the product label. Uh, that being said, just a quick reminder, if you use any product outside of the guidelines on the product label, it is illegal in accordance with U.S. federal law. So again, you assume your own risk if you use a product outside the laws. Uh, I play by the rules, so I follow it. So today it's, it's 72 degrees where I live. Um, so I am well within the temperature range. Um, so that being said, um, I, again, I personally love formic acid. It comes in a couple different forms. It comes in as uh, under the product name Formic Pro, which is a newer version. And you may have also heard it called Mitaway Quick Strips. That is the product label. Um, so when you get Formic Pro, the most common configuration that they sell it in is a two-pack sachet. Um, when you get it, Formic Pro comes in, again, two of these, uh, two uh, sachets per, um, two doses per packet. And it comes in a two sachet foil pack inside of one of these. So it comes with, again, two of these. And then inside each foil pack are two sachets. Each sachet consists of the formic acid embedded in a um, sugar uh, saccharide um, gel, which is basically a sugar gel inside here. And it also is encased in a uh, paper that allows the formic acid to slowly release. So when I put this on in a little while, you're gonna see me remove this, but you are not supposed to remove the gel from the uh, paper products because that is a slow release agent for the formic acid. All right, um, when you use the formic acid, the personal protective equipment that it says you should use are some form of eyeglasses to protect your eyes, you should use some form of rubber gloves or nitrile gloves to protect your hands. You should wear a long sleeve shirt, long pants, shoes, and socks. For formic acid, it says you do not need to wear, there's no mention of wearing a respirator like some of the other chemicals. So again, it's not required. However, I would not breathe it. If, when you get ready to use this, you'll see that it has a very strong smell. Um, but again, you do not, according to the instructions, you do not need to use a respirator. Um, again, formic acid is naturally found in nature. It's naturally found in honey. It's naturally found in plants. It is considered an organic treatment. So that being said, um, what comes in the packets when you typically buy them? Again, it's if when you buy this two dose package, it has um, the little packet there, and then it has some explanations on the back. Inside the packet, you'll see these two foil packets. Again, this is a two-dose packet. Uh, there are two 
uh, sachets inside and then it comes with the instruction sheets and in, in my video I'll have a close-up version of this it shows that these are very easy to follow instructions um, so when you get ready to get to apply this the formic acid can be used with either a single brood chamber or a double brood chamber as I have here and the rules are basically the same uh, you will apply the sachets on top of the lower brood chamber so if you only have one it'd be on top of the lower brood chamber or that brood chamber if you have a double brood chamber then you put it in between the brood chambers and if you have um, depending on the configure the maker of your um, high bodies you may very well need some kind of spacing shim uh, in this case it's an emery shim is what I use uh, if I need it because these packets are about a quarter inch thick or so so um, if you need additional space to close the hive you may very well consider having an emery shim on hand um, that being said I'll stop the camera momentarily while I suit up because I always like to be in a suit uh, when I'm messing with my bees anyway so I'll go time out for a second okay I'm back um, so I'm all suited up now again I've still got my long sleeve shirt on I've got my long pants on my shoes and socks I have my protective eyewear on um, and now I'm going to separate my um, two deep hive bodies so I can apply the treatment on top uh, when you use formic acid formic pro you have a couple options you can either use a 14 day treatment which is basically use both sachets that are inside one of these at one time and you just offset the sachets on top or you can use one sachet for 20 days so what you would do if you use the one sachet method is you would simply place one on top of it for 10 days after 10 days you come back and put the second sachet on top and extend it out pros and cons to it are with any chemical treatment again even though this is considered an organic treatment if you run two sachets obviously you are releasing more of the formic acid at a time so that you run the risk of a higher chance of a queen mortality um, I personally have had had any issues with it um, but I did notice the, the very first time I ever used formic acid and I used a uh, the two sachet method again it was only for a 14 day treatment instead of a, of a 20 day treatment with one sachet as I did get a little bit more bee kill of the workers um, again that's common you may have to uh, sweep the front of the entrance when you prep your hive for this um, you need to make sure that the entrance is fully open so the um, the bees can breathe and let the chemical go through again it's a natural chemical it also says that not only in addition to the uh, treatment range which is 50 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the day temperatures again remember it can go up to 92 degrees for the first three days um, you also need to make sure you have at least six frames deep frames of bees um, for it to be otherwise uh, anything less than that again you run the risk of killing off your colony so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna open up my colony again I generally have um, calm bees so we'll see how they are I haven't been into them in probably uh, probably about a month uh, just because of my work schedule so I can see that I clearly have six frames of brood, brood in there um, and you can see on my particular configuration and at my hive frames are almost to the top of this box so I have a very shallow box so I will use an emery shim excuse me girls to give myself a little space the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these uh, foil packs again you only need one and I'm just going to use my hive tool to separate it so I'm gonna open these up I'm gonna open up the foil pack when I pull out the foil pack you can see that there are true of these paper covered uh, packs so in order to use a double sachet which is what I will use I'm gonna set one there and then I'll offset it the second one toward the back a little bit 
and offset it a little bit. In this case, I've got a beetle trap in here, so I'm going to let uh, some of that space for the beetles go in there. And that's all there is to using a two satchel method. So this is a 14 day treatment. If Again, if I were using just a single sachet, it would be one sachet in the center and then uh, let it set for 10 days, come back in. And again, while you're placing these on there, you do not want to open up the hive again because you're defeating the purpose of the chemical being able to spread throughout the hive. Again, one sachet for 10 days, come back in and add the second one. Um, and allow it for speed for 10 days. In this case, I'm using two sachets. They're offset slightly. And then I will put the hive back together. Alright, so that's all there is to using formic acid. It is really quick, easy. Once you are done with the treatment, depending on your local laws, uh, you could actually use these uh, sachets, these paper sachets, and just toss them into a compost pile and let them uh, deteriorate naturally uh, according to the instructions. But again, depending on your, your city uh, laws, you may not be able to do that. And where I live, I live in the country, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so I'll plan on throwing these in the, in the compost pile when I'm done. So that being said, uh, thank you for watching my video. and I'm gonna treat three other colonies in my apiary Again, with the double sachet method in my particular case for 14 days, and hopefully get rid of my varroa mites. Thank you for watching.